through your hair. How about that? Okay, so basically, I love the haircut you just did on, on Just a Lois' sister. Mm -hmm. So just, I guess, just a shorter version, obviously, what this is. My hair is really funky. It's so thick. Welcome to like the quirkiness of my hair because I've got some really big, awesome cowlick. A cowlick. A cowlick. Yes. Yeah, right, right there. Here. here. And, and it goes into like that awesome point, which is kind of cool. You so this is. <laughs> <laughs> and this would be a nice way to show people how to deal with quirky hair. With well, everyone cowlick, has so. these. <laughs> everyone has their stuff. You have a lot of hair. Yes. So how short do you want to be on top? Do you want to leave most of the length on top and raise her out and make it just kind of um, shattery? Or do you want yeah, yeah. to cut it short? No, probably a little more. So this like, is still and then like these, some of the bulk out of this. maybe. Yes, major bulk out of like the sides and corners and stuff. Okay. I love the length of the bangs, but obviously, you know, just probably kind of them tidy out. them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what about this? Do you want this to have any like... Um, like a like an A-line shape or like a weight line or do you want it to just kind of be blendy? Probably blend it. Okay. Can I so you don't want any like... Tail. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll get rid of that for sure. <laughs> Alright. That's not... What else? Anything else? That's pretty much it. And, okay. and, and piece out the... Like yes. really angle the... So you want some fun pieces that you can maybe pull out around your face mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Hi everyone, it's April Hair 101. I'm going to do a haircut on my friend over here. She's one of my neighbors and this is the first time I've ever cut her hair. So I had a consultation with her and we recorded that. And so you can kind of hear what we talked about. But basically I'm just going to kind of talk while I'm cutting her hair and show you what I'm doing. And we'll go from there. So this is a little different than the other haircuts I've done, the other tutorials. I've had something in mind ahead of time. And this one's just going to kind of be how I cut just me cutting hair so hopefully you like it so in the back we're going to start and we're just going to um, go right down into the middle and I'm just going to take it up and cut it as short as I can with my fingers so I am putting my hand against her neck like this and that's just going to keep it really tight down and give it a good shape. You can just kind of keep moving your fingers around just a little bit and adding hair in there. And if you can see anything past your fingers, it needs to go. So just slowly move over. And do the same on this side. So she has this really, really strong hair pattern <laughs> that comes up and sweeps into the side. And instead of trying to fight it, we're just going to kind of go with it, but we're going to go some, some sheer over comb stuff right here just to get it in a little bit tighter. And then right here where the hair is growing sideways like this, if you just lift it up, you can take it off with a comb. And then it just lays in a little bit better and it tapers it in. We're going to do the same thing over here. Alright. Another thing, if it's growing up like that and you take it down like this, you can kind of get it to stick out a little bit. Blend it in. And then the other thing that we can do with this. Take your razor, make sure you have a guard on it. 
And you just go like this and knock off some of the hair just to clean it up a little bit. And this is really good for stuff like this because it doesn't give it a really hard line. If I were to take the, the clippers and go like that, she'd have this square boxy look and that's really not the most feminine look. So we're just going to kind of take the razor blade and just pick out some of that. There we go. So we still have the, the fun little shape in there. But it's just a little bit cleaner. Alright, so next I'm going to take these sides right here and pull them towards the way that her hairline grows right there. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to comb it towards and then chip it out. Now this was just a little bit of that leftover from when my hand was like this. I couldn't really get into that ear part, so this is just going to take care of that little area. So we're going to pretty much take everything from this part lower pretty short and then we're going to blend it in so it stays pretty blended and to a longer part on the top. So I'm just going to take that section up and then there's my guide from when I was doing it shorter and just blend it up. There you go, there's your guide. There it is. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take that up and then cut it out. It on the other side, make sure that it all blends in. All right, the back is cut nice and short and it's cleaned up now. Just going to blend in a few little spots. If you see any long pieces or bumps that you want to take out, now's the time for that right in the back. And you can cross check it by kind of pulling it up with the comb and seeing if there's any really long sections. Alright, so now we're going to do around the face. And she wants to have lots of texture in this. Do you want to take any of the length off of yes, the ears? Please. Do you want it to go off yeah. and around? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to use a razor to do this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take the hair from behind the ear and just kind of comb it up so I can get my finger under there and then comb it down back on top of it. And then I'm just going to kind of use your hand to protect the ear from this razor. And then you just kind of razor it out until it looks soft and shorter. You might have to go over it a couple times. but. And if you 
you have these long little pieces, you can just grab them with your finger and just kind of knock them off with the razor. And it's going to keep it from looking really, really solid. If you took the shears and just cut a line around it, that's fun. If you want that really solid look, then do that. But I think we're going to keep it more soft. dry it, we could even take a few more of these and razor them out if they look funny. But for now that's probably good. And then around her face, we're going to do the same thing and kind of give her some fun texture and pieces around her face. So we're going to take this down and it kind of disconnects here. So I'm going to take that back up like this and connect those two just with some deep point cut. And then here we're going to pull it all forward. And then you're going to stick the shears in like this and you just kind of notch out some of that bulk. There you go. Got some fun little pieces so you can get some hollow space, some negative space in there so that you can have more texture. You can do this with the razor. You can take it up like this. And just take out some of the bulk. So we talked about her bangs already. She said she really liked the length, so they just need some shape and some, some texture in them. So I'm not going to take too much length off of that. I'm just going to go through with the razor. And I'm going to take like a pencil and you just kind of carve in. This is going to make it a lot easier to style too because it's not going to take as long to dry and flat iron. And back over here where it's heavy, you just kind of take it in. Do you want to take a little bit of a yeah, shape yeah. out of there? Okay, so we're going to give her a little bit more bangs right on that side where her part will be so that she can have a little bit of detail that she pulls forward there. All right, I'm going to do the other ear, same as we just did this one. So we're going to take this up, stick your finger behind the ear, comb it onto the finger, and then just knock it off with the razor. Make sure you get all those long pieces. You can clean it up way if it's hard to get in there. You can clean it up with the scissors later too. You always want to compare your two sides to make sure you're getting the right length and the right look. Is that your fault? Okay, we're going to go in here and take some chunks out with the scissors, just like we did on the other side. textures going on there. And we're going to take, let's see, so do you want any of the length off the top or are you going to try to grow it and have it just shattery or do you want me to cut some of it? Uh, probably cut a little bit. Maybe like and then piece it out. Yeah. Maybe about that much. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to go through the top. I always start in the Mohawk area. It's just easier to keep track of things. And I'm going to deep point cut into this and cut it just about a half an inch to an inch. Right in 
between there. All right, so I'm just making sure that this mohawk area is even. Then we're going to go through on the sides and match it up. So now we've already cut just this big middle section. I pulled all the hair up there and just kind of done the half inch or inch. And now I'm just going to make sure that the sides and the new guide match. So I have the sides from here and the new guide from there. So all of this stuff in the middle needs to go. So I'm just going to deep clean cut into that. follow your guide a few step in front of the person and work backwards on this left side. Okay, so our length is out. Now we just need to do the fun stuff, the texture. So I'm going to use a razor. I think razors work really well on this length of hair because it takes out quite a big chunk, but it also does it softly. Like it's not, it's going to blend it as you're cutting. So it's not going to leave like a really hard line. And I'm just going to kind of take sections. So she parts this way. So I'm going to start back here at the back of the head and just take sections forward the way that she's going to wear it and just kind of carve out pieces with my razor pencil eyes. And then I'm going to go up here in the front. I'm going to start in the front this side and pull it forward and do the same thing. back section right in here. Same thing, just kind of take sideways sections, piece it out a little bit, and move along. section. I'm going to have her look down and I'm going to start back here and take this straight up and chip out some of the hair this way. You don't want to do way too much on this. If you do too much it's going to start to shorten the hair so you just want to kind of do just little chunks. Okay. 
All right, and so then now I'm gonna go through with some thinning shears and just take out a little bit more bulk in the sides and a little bit through the ends on the top. So. These are fine, fine tooth, not fine, fine tooth thinning shears. I'm just going to do it on the ends. Just pulling it straight up. Okay, that's starting to feel better. Okay, so are you going to style it kind of spiky in any spots or are you yeah, going to keep yeah. it pretty? You want to be able to like maybe yeah, like right there. So if you want to be able to do some spikies, I call this the rooster, the rooster tail. It's just cute to have this kind of spike up. I'm going to show you how to do that really fast. You just kind of take it up right there and you just take the razor and just knock out more of that until it's really wispy looking. Right here. So that's going to be a little shorter area. Okay. Let's see, and I'm going to dry this up and then I might make a few more adjustments to the pieces around her face and flat iron it. flat ironing all this hair. She has lots and lots of hair. And just kind of do the rooster tails up. So this is actually my favorite thing to do with short haircuts is after it's dried and flat ironed to go back through and put a little bit of personality into it and play until it looks really fun. And I also think it helps with styling because then when you want your hair to style really easy when it's short, those fun little details are cut into the hair and so you don't have to force it as much with product and stuff to go where you want it to go. So I'm going to take some of this and just take the thinning shears. And I really like using the thinning shears once it's to this point. The razor hurts, so don't do that. If it's dry hair and short like this, it's not nice to do the razor. If you need to chunk out a big piece of hair, you can take the shears and like this. And you can just kind of detail, slide it down, and you can get that little piece out look. This is a good time to check for any really long hairs under the ear. Do you like it soft like that around your ear so mm -hmm. it's not like super? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to take this up and knock it out so that it lays in tighter a little bit. There we go. See how that just kind of curves in easier? Same thing right back here. It's just too thick, and that's what the problem is. It doesn't really need length off. It just needs a little bit of thinning. Yeah. There we go. That's fine. We'll do this side over here. Same thing. Lift that up. Yeah. 
teeny bit of length off right here. There we go. that are still long that just look a little too bulky you can take them just you know make sure it's on the tip I just want a little bit more detail right here around her face. So I just went through and just kind of chipped out a little piece right there. And there's a long piece right there. Okay, look straight in the mirror. Let's see if there's any more spots that are going to be right in here. fix is right in here. It just looks a little bit heavy to me still. I'm going to take that up and I'm just going to do some deep point cuts into it. I'm just going to take it up like this. And this isn't taking a ton of length. It's just kind of giving it the ends a little bit more texture. Do one more right here. through it, make sure that there's not any really heavy spots. If you feel a piece of hair that's bugging you, just grab it and I'll play with it. Maybe a in there. teeny bit more. Yeah, that's where it's okay. always the heaviest. Let's go for it then. play with their hair a little bit when I'm trying to adjust it like this. It just makes it easier. They don't have to come back and say this is my piece is bugging me. Which is fine if they do, but awesome. So after you dry cut, make sure you this is called strumming the hair. You just kind of get the loose hair out of it. And then you can even go back through it with your blow dryer. Alright, so to finish it up, I'm gonna use a dry wax. This is my favorite dry wax. It's called Enjoy. Do you have a dry wax? Yes. Okay. And I just like this stuff because it doesn't make the hair look oily or greasy. You can go through and just rock it out. Do whatever you want to do. Fun thing with this haircut is you can make it really smooth and formal or you can make it all crazy and funky if you want. And it's just a matter of some styling and some pomade makes the big difference of the haircut. So around the face I always kind of 
I'll need some of this out in little details. Now that you have all this texture, you can do like some fun spiky things if you want. You'll have some pieces sticking up. It's really just up to you. It's creative joy every morning, right? <laughs> okay, do you want to play with it? No, I think it looks fun. Okay, awesome. So thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure you leave a comment. If you guys have any haircuts that you want me to do, please just leave a comment and request some haircuts or styles or whatever you want to see me do and we will take care of it. Mm -hmm.